Now, I'm going to kind of get right into it. So when you're going up to a can light that's in the ceiling, um, the way you disassemble it, first you take the bulb out. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. Simple. Um, it's, it's held together by compression fitting. So kind of, you got to wiggle it out. At that point, you can let that drop like that. It's a junction box right here. So you have to just pick yourself on a ladder. You visualize that. You go up there. You have this little clip right here. This clip will pop and expose all the goodness. All your wires, everything you need. At this point, you have all the wires exposed. You have your line coming in, which is normally your black, white, or in some cases, black, red, you know, whatever it is coming in. So those is what you need to disconnect. So it's as simple as unwire nutting it. So at that point, you disengage the line, which is your main power coming into the fixture. This is your load going out to the lamp. Um, for the most part, this piece here is dead to you, so you can just cut it. It's done. Now you have two sets of wires normally within these fixtures. They'll either be blue or red, blue or yellow, a combination of two sets. So you just want to identify two sets, and it's pretty simple. At that point, you'll take your neutral, which is your white wire, in most cases. Sometimes older buildings, they don't re-identify, so you deal with those kind of situations. You'll strip any wire, it doesn't matter what color, just whatever color code you go with, keep that consistent. So if you want your red to go to your white, make that your consistent move. If you want the blue, same situation. Because um, it's not going to affect the bolt. strip the other set of wires as well and we'll just start hooking up wires so I'll take my red and identify that with my white or neutral let's tuck that in there um, take my black and I'll identify that with my my black uh, my blue which is my hot or lime um, Obviously you want to tie your ground in because this keeps your system safe. So the green wire just gets tied into the box which is your equipment ground. And from there, uh, the only other thing I would recommend is to keep it nice and clean. Is just trim out all this old wire, that doesn't matter. Because once again this ballast is not nothing to you, it's just there. Um, one thing to note is this cover for your junction box has all these holes in it so you do want to keep your driver on it to keep that protected so even though this driver is dead and doesn't mean anything to the system keep it in that way you don't get much dust no bugs can get in there and all that kind of stuff so you'll do that fill it in there click it in um, at that point you're ready to reassemble so you just pop the can right back in the compression fitting and it's done now at that point, you'll take your bulb, nothing needs to change within the lamp holder at all. The only thing that you're messing with is the junction box with a little bit of wire. So you got your bulb, and you pop that in there, like so, and it should spark up, hopefully. <laughs> there you go, that's your LED. Pretty simple. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty much bypassing the ballast and running directly to the lamp holder.